What is it that you wish for? What is it that you want? You're very insecure, aren't you? To become secure, I have to have value. I want to be worth something. I want to be worth enough to attract the attention of others. But your value is something you have to find for yourself. I have no value without it. My life is worthless without it. Then what am I? What is this? This is me. This is the shape that lets others recognize me as myself. This is my symbol for myself. Everything is merely a description, not the real myself. Everything is simply a shape, a form, an identifier to let others recognize me as me. But what am I? Is this me? My true self? My fake self? What is it that I am? You are you. There is little difference between how you interpret yourself and how others interpret you. Right. My clothes. My shoes. My room. These are all parts of what makes up myself. These things are connected through your consciousness. So what I think is me, is me. What I recognize as self, is myself. I am no more or no less than the sum of my self-awareness. But I don't understand myself. Where am I? What am I? Nobody understands me. Of course nobody understands you. The only one who can take care of you and understand you is you, yourself. So you must take care of yourself. But I don't understand myself. I don't even know what it is that makes me myself. How can I love myself? You're still unstable. That is the present you, and the people around the present you, and the environment that surrounds the present you. None of these elements of reality last forever. Time continues to flow, and time brings change. Your breath is in a state of constant change. You're capable of change any time your mind perceives its changes. What is this? A world of nothing? A world with nobody in it? This is a world of perfect freedom. Freedom? Perfect freedom. A world in which you have no restriction. Is this really freedom? Yes, this is what it is. However, this world has nothing in it. Unless I do something? Right, unless you do or think of something. But I don't know what to do or think of. He is uncertain. He has no self-image to orient himself. There's nothing solid here. It is a world in which there are no obstacles, no anything. This is a world in which you can do anything you wish. And yet, you're still afraid, aren't you? What should I do? Let me give you a restriction. There. Now you have a top and a bottom, but you have lost a degree of your freedom. You may no longer fly. You must stand upon the earth. Now you feel easier, don't you? Because you have less to trouble your mind. And now you can walk. This is happening because you will it to be. Is this my will? This world with a floor is the only thing around yourself. But now you can move around anywhere you wish to within it. You can even turn the world upside down if you wanted to. And your perspective within your world is constantly changing. It changes with the passage of time. You can change yourself as well. Because the thing that forms your shape is your mind. And its interaction with the world that surrounds you. You can do anything here because it is your world. This is the shape of your reality. What is this? An empty space? An empty world? A world where nothing exists but myself? But with only myself, I have nothing to interact with. It's as if I'm here but not here at all. It's as if I'm slowly fading out of existence. Because only you are here. Only myself? Without others to interact with, you cannot truly recognize your own image. My own image? That's right. In the act of observing others, you may find and recognize yourself. Your self-image is restrained by having to observe the barriers between yourself and others. And yet, you cannot see yourself without the presence of others. Because, with others, I can perceive myself as an individual. If I am alone, then I will be the same without others. And if this world is only of me, then there will be no difference between me and nothing. By recognizing the difference between you and others, you establish your identity as yourself. The very first other person is your mother. Your mother is a different individual. Right. I am me, and she is she. But are you really sure that the perceptions of others form my true self?